going on everyone? Jake Morgan, Shady Creek, El Dorado Lake, northeast of Wichita, Kansas. I have a 2019 Crown Line 225 SS here for sale. Gonna do a little walk around video on it, show the condition that it's in, show some of the features that I like. This is one of the newer Crown Lines that I've seen in our area. And I'm just gonna highlight some of the things that I think are cool and that they did well on it. On the exterior, I don't see any signs of any major damage. You have typical dock rash stuff on the corners that you would expect for a boat that's actually used. This boat has 214 hours on it, no active codes. I just ran it on the hose. A little bit of scuff marks there. That is something that would buff out. Slight dent on the rub rail there. Not enough of an impact to cause any sort of damage to the fiberglass. Just a little mark on the rub rail there. Bottom side looks pretty good. Some rash there from maybe beaching it, possibly coming in on the trailer wrong, but nothing to be concerned about, nothing that needs addressed immediately, or at all, really. All right, let's hop up on the inside. This has the Bravo 3 lower unit running the 6.2 Merc. Cruiser, 300 horsepower. Transom stereo remote, transom facing speakers. I like that they integrated just a grab bar here at the top of the swim platform for getting up off of the swim ladder. Makes it easier to get in the boat as opposed to just doing that tow point there in the back. And pop these seats out to make a walk through as well as this little guy it does come out here so no step on the seats all the way through the walk through dedicated uh, dedicated cooler space there i don't know if this is insulated or just draining storage but there's some good storage there This is kind of like the chaparrales with those taco marine clips there. I think that's what those are called. Yeah, the taco. All right. I do appreciate the separation in this kind of dog box here from the side. It makes this some more usable storage. Got our table with some built-in clips there for the table base. Stole battery set up. Kind of interesting that... The battery switch is actually all the way over here and not just right up there next to the battery. So it's kind of different, not right or wrong, just different. Got a single, double, combined locking battery switch on this. All right, shut that and hop up through the rest of the boat and wrap this video up. I do like this. I'm not sure what they call it, this woven vinyl. It's kind of like Cobalt calls it their seagrass. I like that material. I appreciate that the passenger has a bolster seat. Kind of some space reclamation there underneath the passenger. Our Simride is not connected to our engine data. I could not get any of our instrumentation through this. I'm sure you could add a NEMA network to this and, and put all that together. But we do get chart in depth. Things like that. Everything worked. Blower, bilge, horn, lights, depth, all that's good to go. Looks like I can do Bluetooth or jack in for music options. Nice digger anchor up there in the front storage. So we are selling this boat on consignment for the owner and he is getting rid of a lot of goodies with this boat, like 10 neoprene life jackets, a couple tubes, a pair of adult skis, adult wakeboard, a pair of kids skis. 
table base there. All right. Some good storage here. All right, I'm gonna wrap that up, but this is gonna make a good starter boat for some family, especially because it has all the equipment on it and it's been regularly used, so that's good. Sitting is like the number one enemy to boats, so use them. That's all I got, thanks.